Hey everybody and welcome back. For those of you that are interested in purchasing a Creality Ender 3 V2 or maybe you're looking at getting one used and you're not really sure if these are still relevant or competitive, I really just wanted to do a quick overview video. So I've had this for a couple of years and not only have I used it really, really heavily with very, very long prints, which I'll put videos to in the description, but I've also let it sit for a pretty extended period of time. So I used it really heavily for about a year, year and a half, and then I let it sit for around 10 months or more. And I decided the other day I wanted a new phone holder, which I will clear the supports out for. I've already pulled some of them off, but figured I'd make the video just to show how it's still printing. So I'll show that in a little bit. But just wanted to note that it's still doing some pretty long prints. I mean, this one, without modifying any settings, was <clears throat> a little under a day or so. So it's still doing these prints and longer prints, and it's pretty stable, especially considering I haven't had to replace any parts. So as far as longevity is concerned, after letting it sit for around 10 months, I didn't have to do any major maintenance or anything. I just had to level the bed, which took a little bit of time, but uh, it felt like it took longer than it normally would. But outside of that, it fired right up, printed without any issues, no concerns there. And really the only maintenance or things that I've had to do on this thing since I got it was replacing some of the nozzles under here where the PLA comes out. I think I replaced maybe one, maybe two at most. But outside of that, even with extended use, the only other thing I've really had to do is tighten up some of the belts that are driving some of the parts around and level the bed. But I haven't had to pay for any other parts. I have the stock, so to speak, glass plate or bed, and all of the other parts are pretty much stock as well, and I've used pretty much PLA Plus the entire time. So again, I'll put some other items or other videos related to this device in the description, but wanted to do a more updated video just to show that I think that this thing is still a pretty, uh, pretty impressive and competitive device. And let me go ahead and clear up the supports on this, and I'll show you the quality of this print. All right, so I've cleaned off some of the supports just so you can get kind of an idea of what the final product looks like. Now, I do still have some cleanup to do and probably going to need to sand it down a bit just because some of them were a little bit more difficult to remove. But you'll see right here, I increased the infill on this to about, I think, 30%. So it was just under a day total print time with no real updates to any other settings or anything like that. But um, outside of, I know some other printers can do things more efficiently, and I know that there are settings you can adjust to make this print better as well. But the general idea is it will still absolutely really do what you need it to do. And I think it's a really impressive printer overall. And I will go ahead and take the camera off the tripod really quickly and just kind of show you the device up close with a flashlight on so you can see what that wear looks like. All right, so you can see with the bed we had, um, I used a little bit of glue on here, so that's why there's that whitish coloring that just helps with the adhesion. But you'll see I haven't really done any maintenance or anything like that. When I first got this, I actually broke one of the clips off here, and it's been working fine for a year or two years now. And again, you can see the print time on what I just printed. And as we kind of push this back, you can see, again, just a quick walk around. So obviously we have some filament that came out through the top over the uh, years of use, but all things considered, it's held up very, very well. And I haven't had to do any major maintenance or work or anything like that. So if you're thinking of getting one and you get a good deal, I think it's a definitely a good option to consider. And some of the parts are pretty cheap from what I've seen, but let me know your thoughts in the comment box below.